This is the pump I intended to use for the steam system, but after taking it apart and looking at it, I'm not so sure it's going to work. Basically, this is just a rubber gasket that fits inside of the impeller well, or the volute, whatever it's called. And here's the tiny impeller. And the reason why I'm worried it ain't going to work is because I just don't think this thing's going to handle the pressure surges that it's going to see. It might not even be able to pump at a high enough pressure. I did some testing a while back on a steam coil like this. I have a video of it actually. And believe it or not, it took up to 50 pounds of pressure inside of a special pump tank that I have to get steam to inject into that thing. This is a water pump that I built that's driven by air pressure. You can see there, that just connects to an air pressure there. I have a needle valve and a pressure gauge. And there's a siphon inside of here. Take it apart. You can see the siphon. So basically by charging this tank with air, I was able to inject water into this coil. And something Gary told me that's called vapor lock began to happen. Um, around 50 PSI wasn't always enough pressure to keep water moving through the coil. The steam pressure developed by steam liberation was inhibiting flow. So I really wish I would have wrote down some of the operation parameters of this thing to get an idea of what type of pressure it takes to push water through a steam coil like this. I'm pretty sure this little pump isn't going to do it. Vapor lock is just going to blast water right back through it, maybe even steam. So, the reason why, another reason why this is taken apart is because it was broken. A bad Chinese soldering job here had rendered it useless. So, I had to take it apart and find out what was wrong with it. So, I want to get this back together. I don't think it's going to work for the steam pump. Um, it may work for the cooling jacket for the torch itself, but the problem is I wanted to use this as a preheater for the steam generator that I'm going to hook up to this thing. See here, I've got all the parts cleaned up for this test device ready to go. I'm going to end up welding a lot of these pieces together, not all of them, but most of them, because I don't have any sealant that can withstand the temperatures it's about to go through. So, I may end up just using that little pump to cool this tip, I don't know yet. But after doing some experiments with this steam coil, I'm almost certain that this pump is not going to work. It had just dawned on me that I'm wasting my time. Because if this thing can't pump water with 50 PSI's in this tank, then I'm not quite sure how that's going to work.